All right, it is time for some streaming. We'll be doing a little uh, history lesson like we do. Close the music. Perfect. <clears throat> Yo, what is up, everyone in chat? Let's take a look who we got here today. We got the backyard. We got Ashwin. We got Daphos. We got Stephen Lee. Yeah, Sal is in the house. Richard Olson. We got Super Six Four. A lot of moving in these rudders. Succession is messy, but you too. And figure it out with me as we do it together. <clears throat> what's up, Kumar? Chocolate treats, what's up? Switch on over to this. Oh, oh there we go. So, our lesson today is going to be on the kingdom of Sicily. Um, like we talked about before, we had Tancred de uh, Hauteville, who came down from Normandy and essentially established the uh, great legacy that we have in Sicily with the Normans. The Normans had, uh, they were the dukes of Apulia and Calabria, and we also have the Duke of Sicily, of, originally established by Roger the I de Hauteville, or Hauteville. And uh, with his brother uh, Robert Giscard, who is our main protagonist here, um, they were able to take over all of Sicily from the Muslim occupied Sicily. And this pushed them out completely and they took over Palermo with the siege of Palermo and they were able to create the kingdom of Sicily. Now, Robert, of course, uh, went over and did his old little uh, situation over here with the Byzantines and eventually died. And Bowman the first, uh, uh, Beaumont uh, the first, his son went on to compete. <laughs> Who competes in the Crusades? <laughs> Went to um, lead the Crusades. And we can do the first Crusades as one of these history lessons as well, if you guys want. Uh, I can. I know quite a bit about the Crusades. But the King, the King of Sicily was created by Roger uh, de, de Hauteville. And his son, Roger II, Roger II, um, is a very interesting situation because Roger is kinged by the anti-pope. Because at the time, you know, uh, the anti-pope isn't necessarily someone that you appoint because of uh, political intrigue. <clears throat> it's usually that when the pope dies, you know, you have all the cardinals, they convene, and they say, okay, this is the next pope. Here it is. We've, we have voted. It's this pope. Um, <laughs> the first crusade cuff was nuts. Um, but those cardinals then appoint that pope. But sometimes that pope would sometimes be the one that wasn't a pope. Hold on. The Cardinals would appoint the Pope, and sometimes there was a guy who thought he was going to be the Pope because he had all the right ducks in order, so on and so forth, and he ends up becoming that he is not the Pope, but he already starts to kind of act on it. And the anti-Pope at the time is who appointed Roger II, or Roger II, as the Pope, or I'm sorry, the King of Sicily. Now this creates a huge issue with uh, Pope Innocent and King Lothar, uh, Lothar of um, the Holy Roman Empire. And essentially, Lothar comes down to the kingdom of Sicily and fights with Roger and wins, actually, and, and actually crushes a, a portion of Roger's army, retreats, and then Pope Innocent II says, hey, no, 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 come back again. We're going to do this one more time. And he goes to invade Sicily. And Roger's like, hey, I'll give you a fief if you just leave me alone. And that actually doesn't happen. And, and Roger um, can't really come out on top in this war. In fact, actually, uh, Roger suffers quite a bit in this. And eventually, Lothar gets pretty pissed off with Inno uh, Pope Innocent and abandons Pope, Inno uh, Pope Innocent and dies when he's recrossing the Alps back into the Holy Roman Empire. Um, at the same time, Pope Innocent's trying to get a good little fight going here, but his army is ambushed by Norman knights. And when that... In doing so, he is taken prisoner and forced by Roger II to be declared King of Sicily. Now, this goes on to uh, 
Robert's son, Roger's son, William, uh, William the Bad, as he is called, who was pretty reluctant to do anything of any real worth um, outside of being a pretty good military commander. And at the time, the Byzantines, when when the Normans kind of invaded Italy and, and created their kingdom or their dynasty in Italy, they pushed out the Byzantines that controlled the southern portion of Italy. And much like uh, the formation of, say, you know, America and how America was pretty much plagued by the British until the War of 1812, um, Sicily was constantly, or I'm sorry, the southern portion of Italy was constantly plagued by Byzantines coming back trying to retake this land. And they pretty much pushed all the way up to Palermo, having taken the majority of any of everything. And um, King William the First, King William the Bad, the son of Roger the uh, Second, actually pushed them off of Sicily and completely shut down all future Byzantine interest in Italy. So what happened here is that he pretty much solidified his crown for his son. Ooh, Nevada. I didn't see that in the thing. Was that like an, an error? Nevada, did you did you just uh, re-up or did you just become a sponsor again? Let me finish my lesson. <laughs> um, so, William I appoints his son, William II, as his heir. When he dies, his son takes over. But his son is only 12 years old or so. And his son, um, trying to kind of solidify things with the Holy Roman Empire, because the Holy Roman Empire, got to remember, at this time, was so intermingled with so much stuff in Italy that... Um, they were pretty pissed off that the king of Sicily even existed. So they were really not happy with this. So they went to go sign a treaty, and this treaty actually made it so that the um, uh, King William II's aunt was betrothed to the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. And he also made it so that she was the emergency heir. So if he were to die untimely without any sons, she would become the ruler of Italy. Or, well, Sicily. And in doing so, that claim would pass to the Holy Roman Empire. And when he died, suddenly, without kids, <laughs> the aunt then passes the title to the Holy Roman Emperor, <clears throat> and we have uh, the Kingdom of Sicily becoming effectively no longer Norman, but Hohenstaufen, which, is, uh, which kind of spirals out of control and no longer becomes part of the Norman legacy of Sicily. But Sicily is really important. The Kingdom of Sicily is really important because it's one of the very few times in the medieval era in which case you have got a really wide berth or a wide range of um, religions. You've got Latin Christianity, you've got Greek Orthodox, you've got uh, Muslim, or I'm sorry, Islam, and then you've got Judaism. So you have Jews, Muslims, Greeks, and Latins or Italians all living here in the king of the kingdom of Sicily without any issue. In fact, in Palermo, actual in the capital of Sicily, um, for the most part, Muslims could use their own judges to take part in their own um, civil disputes. And if they had, if they wanted to call people to prayer, they could do it publicly. They didn't have to do it um, clandestine or, or or even trying to not an overall uh, shout out that it's prayer time. They could just really kind of do it as much as they wanted in Palermo. So there is actually a sentiment between Italians that still exists today between Northern and Southern Italians, right? And that's birthed because of this situation and a number of other things, of course. But um, And Southern Italy has had a number of other turmoils throughout history, which I don't want to go into. But my point is Northern Italy had this level, this sense of... Um, arrogance above southern Italy because of the, the situation that was going on with the Holy Roman Empire and the Kingdom of Sicily at the time. And for the most part, there's so much um, intermarrying between uh, Christendom, between uh, Greek, between uh, Judaism, and between Islam in the South that it actually plays a pretty big part of why it becomes such an issue later, later in the history of Italy. But that is your history lesson for today on the Kingdom of Sicily. <clears throat> oh, I, was reading, I was reading a comment. <laughs> All right, so let's get, let's get into it. Let's have some fun here. We left off at a pretty cool era, uh, pretty cool time. Um, a little bit of both backyardy. So at the time, um, Sicily had 
Greek Orthodox, Christ, Greek Orthodox, it had Latin Christians, and it had a lot of Muslims. So, and, and at the time too, uh, Judaism was a big portion of Italy, and it, it became be, it came to become a pretty resentful portion towards the later portion of uh, the Renaissance era, if you want to look at it like that. Like the the Jew of Malta, that whole story in Shakespeare is about roughly about the apprehension towards Judaism in Italy at the time, the the, the rising sentiment of anti-Semitism. <clears throat> Okay, so let's let me take over here. The first ones to be the real knights. Uh, Normans were kind of really the first real knights for the most part. For the most part, not really, really, but for the most part. Uncle Sam's essentials. It's all right, man. That that happened to me back in like April. So how do you move your capital? Is that a thing? You can move your capital. And I let's see if there let's see if I can find the button. Oh, poor management resources. Good. If someone knows offhand, please go ahead and let me know. This is the realm capital. Just like I think you have to establish a kingdom first, then you can move your capital. You know the Normans, and I'll, I i got to give credit to Crisps on this one. Um, in fact, me talking about the Kingdom of Sicily today was his suggestion. I said, "Hey, what should I talk about today?" And he said, "Dude, let's do King, uh, do the Kingdom of Sicily, and, and especially the diversity of religion in diver of in Sicily, or in Sicily, because that's not common. There's not many places in um, the medieval era, in which case Muslims and Latin Christians live in harmony. I think one of the only other times that I can think of was during, um, is it called the Reconquista of Spain in Gibraltar? Not Gibraltar. Oh, what am I thinking of? It's a, it's a single city in Spain that uh, Muslims and Christians lived in relative harmony. I, I can't think off the top of my head. It's it's over here. Someone can help me out, I'm sure. Was it Gibraltar? Cordoba. Cordoba. Thank you very much. Real Bobby Bronco. I just couldn't think off the top of my head. I was like, oh, what is it? Funny thing about that, uh, when I was doing... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Cordoba. Um, when I was doing Shakespeare, I used to do a ton of Shakespeare acting. Um, we did Romeo and Juliet set in Cordoba, and rather than it being two Italian families, the Montagues and the Capulets, it was a Muslim and a Christian family. So it was pretty cool. Was it Granada? Man, it's it's one of those. I'm sorry. I talk all this bit about history that I can't even remember the, the historical thing I just brought up. <laughs> so right now what we've got are a number of issues going on. So we can fabricate our claim to Benevento whenever we so wish, but that is, of course, um, going to be a little bit of an issue because the papacy is there. Um, we do have some low county control in Salerno. Yeah, we're dealing with that kind of control. These these three are all pretty low in control. Yeah, the Anjou, Dyn uh, Anjou dynasty is pretty huge, too. Um, because essentially, uh, this becomes a, a, a like de facto claim of uh, France or whatever it is. There's a lot of fuckery that goes on in southern Italy. And it kind of, like I said, creates the elitism between northern and southern Italians later in, later in their history. Darius, good to see you though, man. Okay, so Matilda can marry. Who should I have her marry? You know what? Having her marry into a potential alliance within my own land is not a terrible idea. Can I see my current alliances? Oh, here it is. So we're allied to... So we're already allied to Messina. So maybe we don't do a marriage for Messina. We're allied into Fermo, which... Dude, he's just been... He's been the king. I've been so stoked to have him by my side. And we have uh, Corinthia up here. Yeah, I don't want to... Uh, phased. The reason I haven't disbanded yet, we're going to go over in just a sec. But yes, 100% we want to disband. Um, maybe we try to establish... 
uh, another alliance. I don't know how that alliance works when it comes to succession. What are you? Who is, who is this? Oh, Peasant Revolt. I think this is the Peasant Revolt. Oh, no, this is different. Pe this is Peasant Uprising. It all depends on the history teacher, man. I was lucky and fortunate enough to have a history teacher that wanted to teach. Um, he wanted to teach because he wanted to talk about, oh, this is good. Because this could give me some of my, uh, this could give me claims to the east for my future expansion. Uh, Shasso Tao, as a firm 40k fan, I appreciate your name. Um... I love Crusader Kings 3. I did not love 2. So that's kind of my sentiment on that. I'm, I'm really digging it. We could marry Count Romanos of Metzovo. And that would give us a claim here to all of this. David Renau, what's up, man? Very true. And I don't necessarily care about calling him in. It's mainly getting the claim to this land so I can expand east after we complete our kingdom of Sicily. But also at the same time, I really think about maybe cementing these alliances. Because if I have alliances, what happens when it comes to succession is really what I'm worried about. It's hard to learn initially, William, but the tutorial is way, way better this time around. And on top of it, um, it's the tutorial's better, and I find the the UI is just a lot better. It's a lot more approachable. There's a lot of stuff to manage, but you kind of the game helps hold your hand through a lot of it. So. Any plans to invade Croatia? I mean, I hadn't thought about it. I was pretty much going to just follow... Um, the, the historical trajectory of Robert Giscard and go into Byzantine. Corinthos. Yeah, absolutely, William. And if you have any questions, too, please let me know. This is all a learning experience for all of us. Wait, who has this? Are they my... I guess they're my allies? Or let's go Alliance Power, maybe. Do it that way. There's your Duchy of Bohemia that you so that you so wished. Tuscany wouldn't be a terrible one. It would help solidify my northern border. It's actually super tempting. Oof. I... That's actually... That might be where we go. Unless you guys uh, have a, a claim otherwise. Or a claim... <laughs> you have a claim in my territory. So, again, I think... That's not a bad one, but... We can build trade.
Yeah, I, I think Tuscany might be who we marry, so we'll go back to that in just a second. We're still not endorsed by our bishop because he's a prick. We got no levies or taxes from him. I just don't like... I, I, I've hated him. We're trying to make the kingdom of, of Italy. And once we create that title, why it is so important is that we then take all the lands we hold and they succeed down to my son immediately. Rather than the lands being split apart, which is really strong. Oh, I'm trying to sway the bishop. It's already a scheme that's in that's in action. It just failed already. <laughs> hey. I'm trying to hold off on recruiting more knights right now because I want to get 500 gold to get this to get this done quickly. So once as soon as we create this, it will be really important because then um Yeah, exactly, Darius. That's what I want to get. And so Darius, if I create titles, the title of the Duchy of Sicily, and I give let's just say Duchy of Sicily and I give that to Roger, Sicily becomes autonomous, doesn't it? Even if I'm the king. I can vassalize Naples peacefully. I didn't even know that. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this over here. So I don't understand what's going on here. So these peasants are uprising against the county of Lys. And I don't really know. What to do here. I mean, I, I can disband this force. But. Feels kind of funky. Does anyone know why this is pulsing? Let's just disband it. It should be alright, I suppose. Oh, the rebel against the Count, not me. Okay. Well, uh, deal with it, Count. Right, we're unpaused. We're gonna make 10, which is good. Okay, let's actually do this. Let's do this. I think this is a strong alliance. Um... We all agree, Tuscany, that we're going with? I think it's a pretty good one. Marry into the Peasant Revolt. Let it grow. Civil War? Okay, thank you. I did not know that. I didn't know that was a thing. Tuscany is... What's up, Hugh Gad? How you doing, dude? I think it's just this I'm marrying into. This little guy right here. I just want to make sure, because I don't want to mess up. Ooh, excuse me. Count <laughs> Roger of Foix. Then invade the Pope. <laughs> yep, this is the game music. Uh, wait until we get to wait until we get to a fight. The music will amp you the hell up. You'll be kicking over chairs and cussing in no time. I think we've gone too far down now. Go back up. Well, apparently, apparently he was at the top the whole time. No, he will not accept. And 
Uh, so what Dariath asked is, see if you can marry him matrilineally. So in a matrilineal marriage, children will be born into their mother's house, so my house, instead of their father's. Now, I should worry about this because doesn't it give the child claims onto my stuff? Yeah, this is a two-way street, right? I, I should kind of, I should be wary of these things. I just want to make sure I've got that correct. His beats are whack. Oh, good call. Good call, bro. Baseball fan, yeah, I agree with you. No, kids in your house. <clears throat> Faze Mel, what did you mean by that? And we're saying yes, they get claims to my stuff, right? So, but usually it does go both ways, okay. Well, I'm a little scared, but this seems like probably the best move. We'll do it. Way to stop your kid from having more children. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. We have another powerful ally here. I don't want to declare these wars yet because I do want to get my income up. Claim trap. Real, the real Bobby Bronco t telling it how it is because I think every guy has fallen into the old claim trap before. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting just patiently for 500 gold. In fact, speed it up. Spouse meditates with Lombard brother, even despite your spouse's terrible learning skill. Mediates, mediates. Okay, good. Windfall. Oh! Additional taxes. I lost some stress because I'm greedy. I gained 55 because I am now, boom, the king of Sicily. This changes too. Look at this icon down here. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. I am the Dutch, the Duke of Apulia. I am soon now to become, see the little, little crown there, little silver crown? Now I'm going to become the king. I'm going to get that little crown. I'm going to get the coolest crown in the fucking land. Boom. Creighton, the king. So this costs, oh, I'm sorry, give. I thought it cost 400 um, prestige, but no, you're going to get 400 prestige, which is bueno. So we are... Created, we are the we are now a mighty king, and as thus I look like a king. Look at that. I'm a king. I'm kingly. I'm so kingly. Everybody knows that I'm the king. Oh, how sweet is that? Your glory is widely known. We are now distinguished. We have raised a fame level, which is great. Um It might be a good time to push into some of these different crown authorities. Um, right now we are at autonomous vassals. The direct vassal opinion is plus 10. But I can push to a past a limited crown authority. Rulers can change between available partition succession laws, which is nice. And titles can be revoked. Vassals can be retracted. Clan government vassals will provide at least 5% of levies and 2% of income. So I think maybe jumping up those is a good idea.
Okay, so let's let's push our crown authority up. It'll cost me a little bit, but I think that's good. Um, and we can even push it further to high crown authority. So we can't increase it yet, though. But it does reduce our vassals' opinion. It increases their tax and levy contribution, which is nice. Rulers can change between all available succession laws. Powerful vassal demands council position. Well, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to give you the fucking council position. Because you're, you're just... You're dead, bro. You're basically dead. Count Joffrey, why are you even a knight of mine? <laughs> uh, well, probably because he's so wounded that he was one. So let's take a look. Let us... Let's get... We can't... Unfortunately, oh. Unfortunately, all these knights that we're bringing have a terrible opinion of me. An absolute god-awful opinion. Yeah, we can do that. I don't want my son to go to war. I got some pretty piss-poor knights, though, to be totally honest. Currently a knight, and he's uh, not gonna not be a great. He's not gonna be a great one. Twenty twenty is pretty good. This guy is actually pretty good too, for ten and five. Put my son in, but I don't want him to get wounded. I mean, I'll do it, but it builds character. Mount up, boy. Okay. Right? <laughs> I really like when you get, like, like I said before, just random people from across the world. Yes, Whiskey Jack, 100%. And you can also change that. I can, I can press a button and change the way this guy looks like oh, okay I can go to the barbershop and I can change his hair what he's wearing everything okay um so how does this work whoa this was taken over by uh Saranaika I did not know that That'll be an easy grab, I suppose. But Capua, maybe we can... Enforce Converts. Oh, that sounds really cool. Ooh, I want to do that to one of them at least. One of these guys is really... Okay, so he's a Legendary Blade Master, which is cool. Logistician, Reckless, which sucks, but... But a skilled tactician, Craven, which is weird. Ambitious. I, I mean, if he didn't have Craven, he would be so good. If you guys do decide to pick up the game, by all means, please go ahead and use the link in the description. You can pick up either the Royal Edition or the Standard Edition. It might still have a discount. Can someone tell me if it still has a discount right now? It should be a 12% off. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up this guy, I think, because he's ten. Then this dude, Blade Master Reaver, hostile county attrition, raid speed increase. I don't I've never raided, I don't know how to. What's up, Chris? Yeah, so it's still twelve percent off, so if you guys do want to pick it up, you can get twelve percent off. It gives me a five percent commission, which is huge. I always really appreciate it. I I mean, I think I've made a hundred dollars on commission so far from you guys. So thank you so so much. Yeah, I think we're going to get Porsuk and maybe Jamshid too. I mean, two legendary blade masters is kind of fun. I could convert them and, and make them vassals. Like, that is some of the coolest things about this game is that you could recruit this guy 
to your team. And you can look for, uh, there are certain traits, like content is one of them, so they're never really kind of looking to scheme or push ahead, ahead of you. So you can take someone, some random courtier, assign them to your court, see that they've got content, make them a vassal of yours and a knight, and at that point you've pretty much got someone directly under your thumb, thumb who's never going to push against you, and you don't have to worry about him always trying to get the upper hand. So we'll get Porsu because he's, I think just the two of these guys, 10 and 10. Oh, I thought one was five. 35. I'm dumb. And we'll get, well, I guess we'll get both. We got 40, so. And we might as well take another knight out of here. I might as well forbid him. Oh, dude, look at him. He looks so cool as a knight. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. But do you know um, what this little thing in the corner means? Yeah, definitely a Kazate. 100% a Kazate. I guess I could have the Marshall fight, though. I mean, that might be good, right? Helps him get better uh, prowess. Marshall should fight. We'll make the Marshall fight. Oh, it's indicative of their primary title. Okay. Gold being, of course, king. Silver being a duke. Bronze being just a normal baron. That else can be created. Now, do I want to create these titles then as fast as possible? Is that something that I want to focus on? Declare wars. We've got plenty of wars to declare. Powerful vassal demand council position. I know you do, but you are on death's door. Ugh, screw this. Uh, low county control. We'll get there. Fabricate a claim. I don't think we need to fabricate a claim to Benevento, really. My marshals, unfortunately, uh, and I do want to, I would have him train commanders, but right now I've got some, some control issues. Here at 48, here at 26, and here at 78. Um, we're trying to convert Syracuse to... Um, we're trying to convert its faith. Maybe actually this guy should be doing increased control over here. So, medium-term plans, Jeff, are to jump into the Byzantine Empire and kind of relive Robert Giscard's attempt a conquest of here. Now that we have the Kingdom of Sicily in our hands, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool, real Bobby Bronco. Uh, Long-term goals, maybe take over portions of Northern Africa. They already have a lot of conflict going with me, so taking them over wouldn't necessarily be too hard. Uh, I think my first order of business, though, is to take out Palermo and, and make that mine. Um, I can do a holy war, or I, I think I can just, I can declare war on the Pope. That is hilarious. Richard of Capua. I can seize a de, my de jure county, which is Palermo. No empire? Let's take a look. Empire. Well, the Byzantine Empire includes what I've got. Ooh, Italia. Look at that. The Italian Empire. Italian Empire. <clears throat> so, uh, if you don't really know how this works, guys, I don't, I, I uh, personally, I don't feel like the, the tutorial does a good job of this. So you see these tiles right here, right? U, I, and O. U, I, and O. You are all of the duchies. So, 
if you have so here is the duchy of calabria so if i were to have a claim to the duchy of calabria then it would allow me to take all of these lands and I feel like it's just not necessarily well explained because it's having you look over here at Munster and it just doesn't, uh, for me personally, it didn't make a lot of sense. Um, thank you very much, Chocolate. I appreciate that. But as you expand up into a kingdom, you then see what portions are under the kingdom of Sicily. And as I have now declared myself the king of Sicily, I de jure by law have access to these lands i can create other circumstances to make them mine either alliance or war but if i declare myself the emperor of let's just say italia because it's a smaller land and i have none of sardinia then i de jure own those lands and i can go and take them however i see fit it's usually easier to control a few dukes than a bunch of barons less risk of factions interesting darth i did not know that so that I honestly feel like the the what's it called just kind of slips up a little bit in its expl explanation there. Zalula, anytime, dude. Always great to see you, brother. But we really need to balance out all this terrible popular opinion. This is gonna take how much longer? Eight years. This instead. Oh, wait, what? Oh, popular opinion is not control. I was looking at the wrong button. Control is 26. Okay. Absolute, absolute. 48, 70. Yeah, this one needed the most. Absolute, 99. Absolute, absolute. 75. Uh, Zalula, Surreal Beliefs and I... <laughs> We were so surreal. H for Havoc and I all talk all the time in a uh, Discord server, and we were like, "Oh, what are you gonna play?" I'm like, "Ah, oh, I really want to create the Kiev and Rus Empire." And surreal's like, "Fuck off! I'm going with Rurik." I'm like, "Well, fine, you go with Rurik." So he went with Rurik, and I went with uh, Robert Giscar, which actually was his idea. Actually, no, it was it was Crisp's idea to do Giscar. Yeah, I mean, so here's save. I I played a little bit of Rurik last night, and it is really cool. It is really, really cool. Okay, so let's take a look here what we're doing. So this needs the Duchy of Sicily. So here's a question. Uh, Count Roger of Messina wants his liege to hold the Duchy of Sicily, since his primary title, County of Messina, is de jure part of that duchy. So, is he... I, I, why, I'm the king. What's the problem here, Roger? Like, how come I need to get the de jure... I, I need to get the lower title here. Don't I... Am, am I not his rightful liege by the fact that I'm the king of Sicily? Or did he did he do did he do Rurik for his Bannerlord campaign? I know he did the the like a Russian take on it. I just didn't know he did Rurik in specific. Dude, Rus is Rus is fun. It's difficult because you start out and it's gonna take you way longer starting out, say, as Robert, where you spend not as much time. You have to immediately make yourself king. You have to deal with the fifteen wars you can wage. Playing 867 versus 1066 is way different. Well, that's just hog swoggle. Okay, so how do I... Maybe you guys can help me again. How do we take this through diplomacy? Offer vassalage. Ask... So we need to increase our um, 
opinion. Maybe you do ward or guardianship to increase that opinion. Yeah, thank you, Brant. I was trying to look at it. I was like, ah, I can't. I can't count right now. <laughs> so, uh, Grant was saying is based off of uh, his opinion. We need to increase our opinion by fourteen. And so it says we'll not accept thirteen. So if I make, if I do offer ward. No, so baseball fan Dan, what happens if if you start in eight sixty seven, you start at uh, look at innovations, you start back here, so different tribal innovations at the time, and on top of it, you um, smaller armies, forts have lower levels, stuff like that. For the most part, things aren't as solidified, so you can just kind of have wars willy nilly, a lot different. Hey, no problem, Backyardy. Thanks for jumping in, man, and uh, good luck on the job applying. I could sway him, but I'm working on swaying my really shitty Pope. So, I can't segue that. Um, and someone asked what the end date is. Darth uh, Chachi just mentioned the end date is 1453. So let's find pensive thing. That's the guy, my brother-in-law. Ooh, an architect. Fifty compassionate. This is that's not bad. He's a very good steward. Maybe I find it. Maybe I find another child. This guy good steward. Whoa, Robert Ferris. Ferrar. 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 That's Ferrar. Yeah, I think that and this would be pretty good. And this is. And this increases his opinion of me, right? I could save up some gold and send him a gift. Well, I want to declare war on Palermo and take Palermo. So if I can, if I can not go attack Capua right now, I think that'd be best. It's probably not the worst. Oh, this will not increase my, his opinion of me. It's got to be the other way around. It's I'm I'm educating one of his kids is is when it's the situa that's the situation. Oh, it's not close family. Okay. So if I do offer a ward. Let me just press buttons. I want to see some education levels that affects it. Okay. Arctic, I am loving it, dude. It, it's it's there's definitely. Excuse me. Um. It definitely takes some getting used to, but I am really enjoying it. Walken de Walken Walkland de Winchester. That's nice. Princess Anastasia of Ruthenia. Thanks, Arctic. We'll have plenty of more Bannerlord coming. We're going to do videos on this. So after this um, stream, what I'm going to do is just sit down and do a starting your first campaign in Crusader Kings 3 video. And I'm just going to walk through the initial pause screen. Nothing else. That's it. Alright, so maybe we do this. Let's... Let's take our rally point. Move it to Argento again. And we will attack... Actually... Move it to Messina, because I think Messina to here is a faster run rather than going over these hills. And I think we just 
de jure war, go right to Palermo, take it over fast, and solidify all of Sicily. I think that might be the best bet here. And we can also do uh, Naples after. <clears throat> And I think it just it's just a, a fast one two punch. Who are his allies? There's Wadon. That's back there. Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, pause please. Honestly, I'm just going to call him just so we've got backup for sure. Raise all of our armies. We'll attack that as soon as it can. And they'll wait till they're completely gathered. Uh, we will select a new commander. It's taking Roger. Wait, is it night? Why is his hand doing that? Do they have backup from down south? What do you mean, Corny? Uh, they just have a. Oh, so since he's. That's cool, since he is a military engineer and a forder. Okay. Maybe be Pope this time. You cannot start as Pope Eunice. Maybe Count. Maybe Rajay. Uh, I like having me as the ruler. Someone asked about my skills and perks. Let me go through those real quick. Uh, these are my skills and my perks. I've got nothing in anywhere else other than Marshall. And uh, we're going slowly down this line into Gallant. I'm age 60. Ooh, maybe we maybe we leave it to my brother. Spry age of 44. I remember when I was 44 and I took over Argento. And what we will do soon is make some mangonels. I do want those. We need to get some more Men at arms, basically. I'm trying to say. Yeah, I agree with you, Brant. Aha! A new lifestyle perk. So, we already have over... Loyalty and respect. Spouse opinion plus 50. Skills from spouse counselor tasks. Oh, okay. Done. Argent. Aggregento. 
I do know that, but I don't know that too. My nephew Count Joffrey created the Liberty Faction against you. Did he? Hmm. Hmm. You know, I probably should have looked at that. Okay, so. I should. I should try to fix this. And we'll we'll do that in a second here. Host oh, a red wedding. A red wedding. Scheme at court. Someone's plotting to kill Constantine. Okay, I'm gonna stop this villain behind this. Okay, so we got that. What's the problem here? Come on over and we'll fight our fight. No one wants to deal with you. Oh shit, they're, they're sieging my city. Might be bad. No, no, Bowman. My son was maimed. Uh oh, this isn't good. Better, Hugh. Oh, Bowman! I listen to you, Darius, and this is what I get. He's just, just getting thrown to the wolves. He's maimed bad. Look at that, dude. Oof. He's done for. He's lost a limb. Look at it. There's no arm. <laughs> That's so cool, though. We'll take uh, Naples. That'll that'll fix this.
the hell is he as a knight now? That should have really, like, brought him down. Yeah, we'll forbid him as being a knight. Might as well get a better knight. Just put a scratch. This guy's a pretty badass knight, too, so... We'll put him in. Bought that out. It does cost me some money, but I'd rather have a really nice knight in the court. Um, we need to really expand our men-at-arms, too. Um, horsemen, bowmen, I think I want to save up for. There it is. Caught him. Yes, maim, kill, burn! Oh shit! Oh shit, we just killed the mayor! <laughs> oh dude, my new knight's just... My new knight's crushing it, look at it! Yeah, Corny, I think we might... I actually have a pretty decent uh, guy in there. Richard, don't say that. Um, and the reason we're gonna take this is it just gets us some loot. I trusted you, Darius, and this is what you've done to me, my son, my beautiful son. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Dude, okay, that sucks. But it's really cool. <laughs> I hope you have sons. Beautiful sons. Prince Roger, it is you. Look what they did to my boy. <laughs> Dude, now I'm going to have the hunchback take over? Good. Good. This is good news. Maybe Guy needs to take over. He's rowdy at least. What's up, Piron? Oh no! That's not good. And Robert died. This is the worst thing. So Roger right now is my chancellor, and he would make a badass marshal. Abelard, who's got the, the best diplomacy skill? I can make Count William. Isn't what is William related to me? I think making this guy my. Is this paused? Yeah, good. In, in fact, I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't the worst thing to have happen. Even Joffrey's a better fucking... Do you have any good spies? That terrible spies. That looks shady as fuck. He should be a better spy. Okay, some marshals. Um, I think putting Roger here is a good call. And we'll put, I guess, William. I don't really know William. Uh, space is the pause.
Yeah, you can, Corny. I, I've done it before. I just didn't do it this time. <laughs> we assign it here. Oh, that's Abelard. I'm not oh, stupid. Who's a better steward? Robert de Ferrer. Actually, a pretty damn good steward. Do that. That's actually a little bit of a come up, not gonna lie, right there. Using the function where you can search courtiers will give you. Let me see the trait in question. You can let us search. Be helpful. It is indeed. Yeah, the bishop's close. He's close. No more, no more heirs as knights, okay? <laughs> My beautiful boy. <laughs> like a darling, to put him in, it builds a character and just gets chopped to fucking bits. <laughs> Literally. Uh, we need better knights. This guy, these guys are punks. some time either. Um, there's no good claimants either, unfortunately. Whoa! Attempt suicide? Not down. Maybe we just finish this war. <laughs> Is there anyone, anyone worth killing and fighting around here? Uh, Realm, let's go to prisoners first. Physician. My physician's pretty good. I mean, Cyril's pretty good. Got decent learning. Can, so, can I look for specific traits, though, in this screen? Like, how do I search courtiers from here? Princess Matilda of Sicily is a badass. How can I make her something cool? <laughs> Darth, I like what you're thinking right there. Let's take a look at my sons. <laughs> None of them are of age to make his sons right now, though, unfortunately. I want to make a holy order. I definitely want to do that later. Unyielding defender. I mean, he's a renowned physician. I mean, I don't think this guy could be any better, necessarily. Maybe find him a nice spouse? Oh, you can filter your court? Oh, okay. Uh... Find a character, relation. Um. Oh, in your realm, okay. In your top realm? What I would want, okay. I see, I see, I see. So let's just type in physician. That's pretty cool. I might even land that guy. That's cool. Okay. I thought that was across the entire game. That's really good news. That's cool. Well, I mean... We need a ransom. Do 
command him to convert to Christianity. That's crazy. Alright, so we can and we cook. Mirror here. I mean, Corny, I don't care if it's not necessarily stream worthy. It's I, I think people learn a lot by watching me take these slow, cumbersome moves into things. Documents lost. God damn it! It's happening. Okay. Now own Palermo, and we can create the Duchy of Sicily, which we don't have the money for just yet. Okay, they've disbanded, which is good. These factions, one of them's gone. Okay, so how do I deal with these? Air unmarry. Yeah, we're gonna have to fucking marry off the prince. Roger comes of age. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult with sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards warfare, such as Roger, can come to truly understand it. He has shown great aptitude both in battle tactics and the management of armies. He will make a fine commander one day, I'm sure. Good, good boy. Look at look at my child. Don't don't mention my other child. <laughs> The one that I foolishly put into war lost an arm and died <laughs> sometime during the campaign. It's the worst 15 months of my life. <laughs> so skilled tactician and flexible leader. That's pretty sick. So let us... Oh, I also have a hook on him. Because, you know, my son. That is... I... Guys, that's so cool. <laughs> Holy shit. Good boy. Marry him to a genius. Good chance of smart kids. Rant. That's a cool idea. Let's have some fun with that. So, um, toggle genius. Great. Well, there's some options. Wheezing. <laughs> oh, good. A leper. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it sucks my, my child died, but I think it's really cool. I really enjoy it. Good congenial trait. Is this considered a congenial trait? That's oh, a physical trait. Personality trait. Is there a specific thing that says congenial trait? I know these are all different. Handsome. So, if we remove, let's say, look at strong. There's no strong characters to marry. Let's look at handsome or pretty. Okay, so this is congenial, is what you're saying. So, what happens then for this guy because he's a hunchback? So am I going to just pass down a legion of hunchbacks? <laughs> Is this going to be the hunchback dynasty?
That is... That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> County of Messenia. Oh, she is but the age of zero. That feels unhealthy. And actually, I'm kind of okay with marrying a unlanded individual, too. Uh, callous. Forgiving. And these traits are not. They're not going to go down, right? It's it's the congenital ones. Uh, congenital ones are the ones that we want, because then after that, these traits are randomized as they're being raised by an, uh, a ward, right? I'm sorry, a guardian. I mean, can you be a handsome hunchback? Yeah. If they were to put... Um... Hold on, I have to look at the character's name. What's his name? What's his name? Yeah. If they made a live-action hunchback of Notre Dame, Notre Dame, and they did um, Peter Dinklage, that'd be a handsome hunchback right there for you. You can marry a genius lowborn, have... That is just so cool. <laughs> so you can marry a genius lowborn, have kids, then divorce them and marry for an alliance. The pretty hunchback kings of Sicily. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay. And so let's say let's say this this character for example. I, I just am choosing one here. Um. Uh, here, she's pretty close to me. Marrying her would then grant her that, um, almost threw up, would grant her that, uh, would grant the House Varingian all of the claims to my thrones and such, right? Not like I'm trying to, like, truly segue that, but I kind of am. Let's look at geniuses. Is there? Which for a physician... Yeah, I think it's like strength... Yeah, con no, that's Consecrate the Bloodline. There's another one to, like, strengthen the Bloodline. I've seen it with, um, Punchsome. Okay, so let's try and find a good genius. Ooh, wheezing we don't want. <clears throat> What's up, Flemish? Maybe we just do... I mean, I love Russian women. Maybe I'll just do that. Is it something that I should be thinking about, though, when I'm choosing this wife? Like, okay, if I take Xenia here. Or right over there. Notice the stats in that two-year-old? Yeah, that there's no stats, just the congenital trait. There's quick, but there, there's... Um, intelligent is, is the one above quick. Then there's another one above... Below intelligent, above quick. No birthing years. Good call. Good call. I uh, know baseball fan Dan. It will continue to fourteen fifty three no matter when you start. Okay. And we'll do it by age. Is is there a hard cutoff for birthing years in this game? And what is that? If anyone can tell me. Oh, she's a lover's pox. Oh shit. Jesus Christ.
A beautiful is. So, oh, beautiful is a trait. I'm sorry. Okay, so beautiful is different than handsome. So she is quick and beautiful, but she's 34. Oh, so it's 40. Okay. Pasca's just feeling fine. She's fine. Leader. Ugh. Do not want that trait. She's pretty close to the end of her breeding years, as it's called. <laughs> so there's handsome, there's beautiful. I don't, see, I wish I could find the, the progression here. So let me see if I can type in beautiful here. Great. Because remember, like like I said, there there are progressions of their congenial traits. Reset, and you can see them all right here. Well, these are just traits, normal traits. But they match your Yeah, man of the west, absolutely. Someone is doing that uh, uh, strategy. I don't know who though. Okay, so Brant just said, females 16 to 25 have a 100% chance, 26 to 30 have a 90%, and 31 to 35, 70, 36 to 40, 50, 41 to 45, 33%. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to share it with the bros. Man of the West! Thank you very much, man. Thank you very, very much. Like I've said before, guys, anytime you sign up to become a member, it means so much to me. Like, you do get access to some pretty cool custom emojis and you get a little growing icon by your name, but it like means the world to me because it's basically like saying like, hey, um, uh, you're basically providing me with guaranteed income every month that I don't need to necessarily rely on constantly pumping out lower quality videos i can just kind of take time and make nicer quality videos so i always really appreciate it guys thank you very much hey lsr good to hear dude so thank you a ton man of the west um but guys we got 231 of you bros watching um shiwan just told me or uh stephen stephen lee he if we can get to 150 likes he will donate a giveaway so if you want a game for free to be given away on this stream today, boom, get those likes up to 150 and he's going to do a giveaway. I'm actually going to do a giveaway this weekend too, so this will supplement that. Drinking cat piss that I got from a physician, this game is awesome. <laughs> that is so sick. So pump those likes up, bros. Get it to, we just jumped from 67 to 75. If we can get that to 150 likes, then um, we're getting a key donated by the mighty Stephen Lee. <laughs> Here he is. Big Dick Daddy from Cincinnati. Dude, uh, since... Cincinnati, it's so good you brought this up. So he said, dude, there's a follow-up show to Karate Kid called Cobra Kai on Netflix. Ralph Macchio just put his karate gi back on. Things are about to get super ser serial. Cheesy roundhouse kick, not kicks all over the place. Rip, Mr. Miyagi, lol. Dude, I'm on the last episode of season one. I started it two days ago. I can't stop. It's so fun. It's just cheesy 80s. Like, the guy is, um, like, the main character is just all over the place. I love it so much. Florian, I'm I'm wanting to start that 
the Sturgeon campaign, but we just keep getting hit with so many updates that I figured I'd wait for the developer tools. I don't know, man. Like, I do want to start that campaign, though. <clears throat> yeah, my brothers and I have all been talking about how much we miss, like... Well, they... I was born in 87, but my brothers were kids through the 80s, and I was a kid obviously the 90s, but um, they're like, man, I'm so nostalgic for like 80s, 90s stuff right now. So we've been watching a lot of like Cobra Kai or Stranger Things, stuff like that. Okay, let's get back to this. Sorry. Thinker isn't one? That's insightful thinker. Um, quick. I don't know what the progression from quick is below intelligent, but... We can get this milady right here. So she has a fertility percent chance of 30%. She's 34. And if we go by the... Um, she's 34. So she's in the 70 percentile range. Plus 30% puts her back at 100 for a year or for a year or two. Um, depending on when she turned 34, I guess, is the question. Does everyone turn... Does everyone... Like, can I find out her birthday? <laughs> Brent, there's still one more, because uh, it's... See the little candles here? There's one candle here. And if I look at intelligent and genius, there is one with two candles. I have seen it. I just couldn't tell you for the life of me what it was. Maybe if I look over here, I can find it. Box. Jesus Christ, he's covered in them. Smart might be it, yeah. Nope. Shrewd? Shrewd is a trait, but it's not what we're looking for. Shrewd's actually pretty good, though. Hover over their age to see their birthdays. Oh, there's like no one with Shrewd. That's... that's Surprising. Okay, so I'll just press quick. Oh, it's not telling me. Oh, okay, there it is. I have to have her in there. So who is this lady? Is this a good call? Okay, so she's unlanded. She's lowborn. So I won't have to worry about any real claims. Oh, diligent might be it. Oh, diligent's a, a different trait. Smart. Uh, I've got it on my... On my um, Irish campaign. So this might actually be a pretty good bet. You guys have an opinion about this? She's going to be lowborn. Uh, she's in Frente. So she's beautiful. She is 34. So like I said, that should push her fertility up to 100%. I basically get six years of fertility, more or less, with her. Um, I can divorce her, like you all said. Savant is not it. And the reason I was looking at this character because she's got beautiful. Helps out with diplomacy. Marksman, I'm loving it. Sorting it by age. Dutch, Danish, Norse, Anglo. I get. Does it really matter what their culture is? I suppose I'd maybe choose someone with a better opinion of me, but... Look at it in Nancy! Streetwise. No, that's not one. <laughs> That'd be great, though. We tried it. Uh, yes, Sam, that's what we're doing right now. Intelligence. Maybe, I don't think we've done strictly intelligence. 
Ooh, 18 with Bavaria. This might be a good one. Better opinion is good for more chances. Okay. And I again I apologize if you are if you're watching this after the fact and you're like, why isn't he just chosen a, a wife yet? I'm learning a lot about how this works, so I, I apologize if it's a little slow right now. You want the same culture as you. Okay, well that's gonna be difficult because my culture is pretty limiting. If your kid is in your culture, kids okay. Alrock, uh, maybe marry into someone? I'm not sure, brother. Marry into some claims? Smart is not one. Aim with intelligence? Nope. Aim with quick? Nope. Genius? Nope. All right, let me do this really quick, just really quick. Let me try this. We're gonna save the game. Thank you very much, Lady Killer. I appreciate that. I'm gonna pop over here really fast. Sotek, is it still streaming? Where to God, someone two candles in this damn thing. Guess I'm just stupid. I mean, I, I mean, nothing new there, right guys? I swear I had someone who had... You should not care about the culture of your spouse. Your kids are gonna follow your culture and religion. Oh, okay. So we can also disband this. I think if you type in Herculean, it won't matter because it'll just show you. Yeah, it shows you Amazonian. Oh, oh, she's 34. <laughs> Look at this. I'm like, ugh. Ale. Ale's not bad. Fecund and hail as well. Fertility. 32. Jesus Christ. Okay, so if your wife educates your kid, they become her culture. Okay, thanks, for Bobby Bronco. I could have swore I saw one two candles, so I appreciate that. So Bobby Bronco said there's only three levels, the quick, intelligent, and genius for it. And true gives plus two, but it's like a separate branch. That's the book and not candles. Got it. Okay. Okay, thanks, guys. Sorry. Sorry again for trying to understand. <laughs> Robust is the other one. So maybe we just go then with quick. Or was there anyone good and intelligent? I mean, we could go with her. She's 18. Uh, house Bavar uh, Bavarian house. But we also have the ability to go with someone who is quick. And we can go with a younger. We can go with Aslaug. Aslaug. The nice thing is they're all unlanded, so it kind of doesn't create any issues for me. Oh, I can throw that by an arrow. Oh, that's just cool. Uh, 
Uh, Daria Hakar, it's much better than it has been. It's way better. So I'm thinking her because she gets a nice plus 10. Um, she'll be Norse. That's not a big deal. It's what it sounds like to me. You guys think this is a good way to go? Or do we look for a different trait? Yeah, uh, as Darth Chachi said, if you watch episode one of this, I fail. I restart in episode two. Because the genius trait right now is not available to anyone that's low aged. Strong too. Oh, strong, that's right. No one was strong. <laughs> Let's go with that quick. Uh, I honestly, Daria, I've played uh, Daria, Daya, Daira. I'm sorry, I'm fucking that up. Thakar is now your name. I'm so I apologize. Um, Stellaris was really easy to break into. A really good tutorial. This has an amazing tutorial as far as Paradox games go. You're still gonna not understand stuff because the game doesn't. The tutorial doesn't really um, do a good job at putting things into the into context but as you jump into your first campaign and you you fuck up you will trust me you'll you'll really start to understand it better for I recall there was no one with oh there was people fucking scaly skin oh oh it is daria okay cool oh oh man look at this fecund and hail You just have a 50% increase that fertility. Pure blood. Yeah, intermarry. <laughs> or is pure blood one of them? Oh, it is one. <laughs> Inbreeding chance minus 50%. I mean, inherited characters of pure bloodline. Fertility plus 10, but that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go back to quick. And let's go with our Norse queen, Aslaug. So it begins the Norse bloodline reconnecting with the Norman bloodline. <laughs> I don't think I have robust. Oh, I see, yeah. I don't know, baseball. Uh, so we, we found out that there, there's, there is a cutoff. Alright, so then it sounds like we're between two. Aslug, which is going to give us Aslug, which is going to give us quick or We do Anna, which is going to give us second and hail. What's it going to be, guys? <laughs> Hunchback Pure Blood Dynasty. There, what's up, man? Um, after we solidify all of Sicily, we'll push into the Byzantine Empire. So, Anna or. Uh, Aslaug. Giant, that's one of them. Oh. That's cool. Ooh, that's pretty that's pretty torn okay look we're gonna have to do it like this because I can't count who do I marry she's 
got Fecund and what was the other one? Hail. So the way that this works is. My my vote is for Aslog, I think. Because she's younger. Seems to be a little bit more fun. Up the poll. So how you vote on this is you're gonna type in exclamation point vote space zero for Aslog or one for Anna. So I'm gonna go zero. That's how you vote. So zero for Aslog, one for Anna. Which one's the ugly one? And a little bit uglier. Remember guys, if we get to 150 likes today, uh, Stephen Lee has said he will he will give us a key to give away. So we'll be doing a giveaway today if we get to 150 likes. If you are purchasing Crusader Kings 3, please go ahead and use the links in my description. You will get 12% off either the normal edition or the royal edition, and I get a 5% credit. So it does help me out a ton, but it also gets you a nice little discount. See here. Aslog is winning. 16 to 12. We'll take Aslog, is what it looks like. Alright. Pull is closed. Aslog the quick doth win it. Uh, yes, now. Uh, 100. She'll marry into a royal family. So, how's that? the opinion of Count William. Who's this? Duchy of Benevento. Yes. Yes, indeed. We should probably do that. My dynasty... What's up, Andrew Poetry? Oh! Look at that. Oh, I'm sorry. Captain Jeffrey can go eat dick. William, you got like nothing. Okay, well, maybe a little bit better than Count Abelard here. Well, I don't know, guys. Do I do I replace him with Count William of Fogia? I give Syracuse's rise to this. Can you Palermo is your rise to Brannis? Ugh. Dealing with some issues, bros. 20, 19 more likes. And how do I deal with these? Can I do anything with this? Oh. Yeah, I, I think that maybe... I think replacing him would be a terrible idea. I mean, he's only got 10 diplomacy. And if I swap him out with William, William will like me more, and I get six more diplomacy into this. That might be the way to go. Even my spy master is just rubbish. I even have a, a really great spy master to replace him with. I mean, that guy's decent.
I'm also just wary to... I don't know what it what it does. Um, there were ones we unearthed, Brant, and I don't know how to... See, we discovered these. I don't know how to do anything about them. No exposed agents yet, so we have to, I guess, just wait. Since it's been exposed, there's still a percent chance that it could go through, but it's very unlikely. I see. Uh, Roxxon, uh, wars has been my big thing. Uh, you can also petition your head of faith for money. You, you spend piety into it. Are you drawing benefit from your focus currently? What's my focus? Oh. Yeah. I mean, I've been really getting a lot from it. Look under... Look in secret. There's a, there's a hook and secrecy button? Oh, hooks and secrets. Ah! Hooks you hold. Secrets known to me. Hooks on you. I murdered Faramond. Got a lot of hooks here. So if I put this spy master. Let's look at my court. Let's look at my court. I wish I could organize this. Find character. Organized by opinion of you. Okay, so. Oh, it looks like my vassals. Just my vassals. You guys a vassal of mine? Why is he a vassal of mine? City of Trapani? Where is this? Oh, 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 got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay, okay. So. <clears throat> is it necessarily then that these guys are the ones most likely plotting against me and I would want to try and discover a secret? Jeffrey, you're content? Good to know. Pro tip, spend five years doing steward focus. The initial perks will let you blackmail off most hooks. What's a steward focus? Oh, 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 oh. Marshall stewardship, so... Doing the... Which focus in specific? You can demand payment for hooks, so uh, av avariciousness, or avarice, avaricious, avaricious. So, this one. C. So then, again, though, are these the characters that are most likely to be the ones that would be plotting murder plots? Like, where would I send my spy to discover, to discover secrets is basically what I'm trying to find out right now. Um, because I would like to find out who's doing this, so would I just go, okay, you're gonna discover a secret here in, uh, in Fogia, Avento, 5, 65, 65, 70. Or is it maybe d done by the, uh,
or is it determined by like popular opinion? Like, okay, well, Kanye Rosano has got a terrible opinion of me. We should be discovering secrets there. Right, and that's what I'm trying to find out is what is there a way to kind of guess who possibly has done the murder contract? Or am I just pretty much saying, well, it could be anyone. Discover here, see where it goes. You should check this personality traits. Decide who is most likely to plot against you. That's a good idea. Let's look at that. So find a character. Vassals. Uh, I can't remember the one for... Maybe it's Deceitful. Yeah, I've got him on that, but I, I could find the secret and find out who it is and try and, like, I don't know, do something. All right, I, I have to pee so bad, so give me one sec. Guys, we are 12 likes away for a giveaway of Crusader Kings 3. So if you don't have the game, and you do want it, and we get up to 150 likes, Stephen Lee will be giving away a copy of Crusader Kings 3. Well, I'll do the giveaway and I'll give you the uh, key for it. 10 more likes. I wish you could. There's the lowest opinion of you when you select a character next to their sexual preference. Oh. Resentful Ravener. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we kind of swap around some stuff in our council here. I mean, these guys are just terrible. These two are just god-awful. Well, not god-awful. They're just average. Um, Abelard. I mean, Jeffrey's... Joffrey... Jeffrey, whatever the hell, has been this guy for a long time. And he kind of sucks. So, I could make Margaret here. But I don't think it's a good idea. In fact, I think probably keeping this guy... 
as is is probably the best move. But Abelard. Yeah, my bishop's crap. Can't even murder him. See? Well, it's, it's because we're swaying him, but. Who could seduce him? Um, but what what do you guys think about replacing Abelard, who does have a good opinion of me, with Count William of Fogia, who has Fo Fogia, which has a terrible opinion of me. Actually, the double G is a je sound. We have made it 151 likes. Seduce my wife, better chance. I'm I'm too old. I think my wife's too old too. I don't know how to ask for a replacement bishop. All right, let's. I think this. Uh, ooh, cancel that. I think this guy is. Exactly, and that's kind of why I think. Because he's a powerful vassal too. So what are the tractors? Paddle claimant. It's one. And the council is only a ten. Hmm. Uh, we did kill our bishop, bishop before Oscar, and this is the replacement bishop. So, um, Corny said, usually them not liking you means you won't be able to progress. I extended a crown authority and levy, levy sizes. So, Count William has a minus 40. So if I put him on my council, that will immediately go away. The sellers of the Vatican. <laughs> Yeah, Breton. You got the key in your DMs. All right, so I have got the key from Stephen Lee. We can do that giveaway. Um, when I do the giveaway, if you are not subscribed to the channel, the bot that selects who the, the key goes to will not choose you. Yeah, fuck my wife or my bishop. I hate my fucking bishop. Uh, Man, Man of the West, I will be streaming every day this week, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific Daytime, and then I'll probably be streaming on the weekend at 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Pacific Daytime, and I usually always stream on the weekends at 11 a.m. What's up, Alex? Alright, do I sign this guy as the Chancellor? He will immediately feel better about me. Because that minus 40 will go away. English day. Um, when I press the giveaway button, you'll you'll type in a specific command and it'll enter you into the giveaway. Um, if you're not subscribed though, the bot won't select you for the giveaway, so you do have to be subscribed. He's making one of them duke an option. It should open up new spots on the, on the ducal level. Is the way I'm doing it possibly. Over, enjoyed it a lot, and learned some stuff. Good to hear, uh, Sharpie plays. Glad to hear that, man. Um, I can make lots of dukes. I think I've got tons of titles to give away. Let me see something. So yeah, these guys are all like counts, so I can make him, you know. the Duke of Calabria, if I so wish. But I think that might be better placed for my child. And that's another thing I'm kind of worried about is succession. So right now, when you die, Prince Roger takes over, but we lose the Duchy of Calabria and... Yeah, we just lose those. 
And I don't know how to change that. I thought that by me becoming king, I would maintain those two. Write a confederate partition. A partition. Under partition law, your titles will be divided equally between your children. titles may be created for your younger heirs, okay? I partition. I partition. Lion's share of titles will go to your heir. The rest will be divided between your children. I'm a janitor. I have power. Gonna go to Confederate Partition, probably. No, he cannot be the heir of. He cannot be the Duke. The Duke. Um, heroin uh, Stredny, the best way probably is just to simply start the tutorial. It actually is, does a really good job. Okay, thank you, real Bobby Bronco. I, I was like, what the hell? I don't want that. Do I want to just push to partition? Oh, so they uh, they won't let me progress upward. Now Jeffrey Abari. He can inherit everything. <laughs> so then maybe we do this. I think putting this guy on the court's a good call. Let's save it before we do it. Yeah, we can't even we can't jump to that unfortunately, crisps. Yeah. Norman Coach does not have the heraldry innovation. Oh, so we need that first. Which is not coming anytime fucking soon. You guys that. Okay, so I think I think we'll save, we'll do this, put that guy there. I mean he's 17, so he's gonna be here a long time. Cavalier will be fired from your council having the following effect. Avalar will lose from your council. Once he Oh shit balls. Maybe. Maybe. Where's my counselor? Hey, it was weird. We've we've suddenly had no fighting for you, Roger. We already learned the hard way what happens. So, uh, Chancellor, we've suddenly had an opening in our knights. I need you on the field. We go to take uh, Naples. Okay, so he's there. Okay. God damn. Much longer till this is done. Six years left? Good God, man. 28 here. Three there. I unpause the game and look what happens to me. Yeah, so we're going to have to do that. And he'll probably uh, use it to lower his levies. Um... I do want the Duchy of Sicily quickly, though. Salerno is not as much of a focus for me, I suppose. Because when I look at the realm, um, his output potential is higher than Salerno's. Um, and... <clears throat> Mm 
swaying right now the archbishop um i think we should increase his opinion instead oh it's seven months left let's just finish that off and by doing that we'll be endorsed by our bishop finally duke richard of capua Ah, she gained the trade pregnant. My wife. Popping them out over here. Alright, Whiskey J. Thanks for jumping in, brother. Always good to see you. Alright. The people of the county of Syracuse have finally been convinced to convert to the true faith here. Particularly, no more heretics in the hall of Syracuse. So that's good. Popular opinion should hopefully start to sway. Conversion is a thing. Guy comes of age. I'm about to say my son is no longer a child. With sufficient tutelage, even a child has displayed the noble natural... Okay, so what does he get? He got intricate web weaver. So he'll be a good... My, oh my, good, good, good. He's been swayed. So let us now sway this guy. He grew a beard since I last looked at him. You, you dirty bastard. You're now giving me some money, which is good. Let's do... Probably Palermo. Yep, Palermo. Probably help out our people here. Is a Malfi Republic there? Um... I don't know. No, we have Pisa. Palermo. I've not seen the Amalfi Republic, Luke. Although I could have also been looking in the wrong geographical area, as I am wont to do. Gidi Outvil can marry. Good. This is a son. So. I think maybe we give him Milady Fecund. Although I think she's a little too old now. Yeah, she's 33. Um. Disturb one, thank you very much. We're thinking 867 start. Okay, we can check that out too if you'd like at the end of the stream. Um, so we do have a giveaway. We'll be doing that probably about an hour or so, I think. I don't think we can do offer vassalage yet. We still need to get more. Um, we're almost at 250 to get another title. Well, Disturb One, I really appreciate that regardless, man. Like, it, it does mean a lot to me. You are funding future ridiculousness. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look for perhaps strong or no, um be pretty. One of them got the smart wife, one of them got the pretty wife. Oh, I don't want to get another another title? Because I would think I would want to get the duchy so that I can then give... I think I am the... the holder of one of these. Excuse me, excuse me. 
Because my my big thing right now phased is that there's these um, reductions because I'm not the rightful liege. I do not own the Duchy of Salerno or the Duchy of Sicily. So I would think I would want to give away something like like this. Like this county. Yeah, okay, the titles don't count against your holdings. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh shit, Mark, have fun, dude. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! So let's find him. A nice pretty wife. Ranch is pretty close. Let me actually see. Rather than handsome, I might as well just check beautiful. Ah, why is she gotta be thir five, man? Thirty five and five is so high. I am king of Sicily, Luke. Hence my pretty crown. Uh, what is... What is that other one? Shrewd. No one has shrewd. Okay. Uh, Roxxon, like I said, the one of the easiest ways is to capture territory, because you get it from raiding. Are you playing 867 or 1066? So Comely is the first of the three. So it's Comely, Pretty or Handsome, or what's this, what is this actual called? Yeah, Comely, Pretty or Handsome, and then Beautiful. Okay. Uh, in the tutorial, just try and increase your, your holdings. You have all of Ireland, then make sure you've uh, created like trade ports. That'll help you out a ton. Make sure you've created the titles that will make it so that you get the most out of your uh, your vassals. That'll, that'll also help. I can't... England now. <laughs> Can I raid with Ireland? Uh, not at 1066, I don't think. She's, she's robust. She's 27. That might be pretty good. Oh, shit. That's, that's my big uh, vote right now. Or should I have all my kids be marrying smarter individuals? Like, I want everyone to, wear, to marry... Um, Intelligent or quick or something like that because it increases in the dynasty or do I want to do I want to split up these um, uh, Do I want to split up some of these traits like do I want to have people that are pretty or people that are handsome? Look uh, Martin Mejia 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 uh, the reason that you say or that you invite people to court is to help out with claimants, to give them land, stuff like that. Uh, Darioth, it's a 50% penalty. Absolutely, Ken. Glad to help. Comely. All right, I'll stick with that. I'm down with that, Oscar. Okay, Trevor. So you're saying focus on one trait for one marriage couple, for a son and a spouse, and another son and a spouse focus on a different trait, so you create a diversity. You're proper breeding. 
Quark. There's not a lot of options. Out. It's, it just pretty much seems like um, some variation of intelligence, beauty, um, hail. And that's it. I'm fecund. There's another one. Gertrude, the robust, is pretty nice. Ideally, I want genius. Okay. Radislava. I did not play CK2. That's why I'm kind of asking a lot of these questions here. Um... She is intelligent. Yeah, the only the only genius on here is like 30 or 35. Yeah, the only genius down here is down here. <laughs> 19 and intelligent 10 out of 10. Oh, right, let's go with this one then, I think. I mean, does it really? It doesn't matter, right? That she's she's part of a house. I mean, she's got really good skills. Like, look at her intrigue. It's at twenty-one. So I could absolutely make that spy master general you're talking about. Like, genius, I think is. Yeah, we don't have anyone that is under thirty-five. Okay, we'll go with her. Biltrud, it is. This is my son, though, so should be okay. Should be fine. Let's let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Why did he get imprisoned? Yeah, why do these things happen? I've seen this before, where someone just randomly gets imprisoned. It's not like me. Not foreign culture. Oh yeah? Who's this guy? Located in Fogia. Fourth year of Count William. Oh, okay. So it even shows me the other counts. Okay. So this is strictly my realm. Vassals and my court in specific. Dude, intellectual. Quick. Feral is disease resistance huge boost. So would it make sense to make my my wife's or my brother's my fucking my son's wife the court physician because she's got three more learning? He does though have renowned physician, and I'm not sure how much that really helps him. Like he says huge boost with a disease resistance. That is cool. Uh, why is my brother in prison, man? It makes no sense to me.
Keep the renowned Giza. Done and done. Okay. Available perk. Peacemaker it is. Hopefully we can get the Gallant before he dies. Just to get it. Um, we could though guess we could switch over to Golden Obligations, Wealth Focus. I just get such a huge I get a ten percent increase in martial experience. This? That's with bloodline. That's what I want to type in bloodline. Baseball fan, damn, that's so cool. The blood of the prophet. Same faith opinion, damn. Damn. Ooh. Where did this come from? We just mar we just married her. All of a sudden, she's got a whole of body. Oh, it's a lifestyle trait. Okay. Unfortunate uh, that she now. Can I convert? Can she convert to? Okay, so she is Catholic and Bavarian. So, is there a way to get her out of Bavarian and Norman? I guess something like you can't really affect their culture unless they're a child, right? Bertha, huh? Oh, yeah. Powerful name. Okay. Reduce her? That's how I would do it? That's my my wife's son, man. Or my wife's... My, my, my son's wife. What does this do? I'm just reduce her... Living with her and possibly making her your lover. Into romance. Getting prestige, improving your their opinion of you, also becoming soulmates. Interesting. Oh shit. Betrothed. Legendary Bloodline? Legendary Reveler, Legendary Blade Master. And Holy Monarch? Whoa! That's cool. Okay, so which let's do this. Let's let's create a title. I'm thinking the Duchy of Sicily, like I said, um, because if we're looking at Count Roger, his production, his contribution to taxes is at a fifty percent reduction. Um, so he's only to give me 0.3 a month. So at least come up to 0.6. If we were to do um, Salerno, so yeah, if we were able, if we were to do Salerno, that's this guy right here. He would only go up to 0.2, maybe 0.3. So I think that this is a much better, much better uh, goal, and it's my brother. Roger wanted it. Duchy of Sicily. We will create this title. We've got all the uh, we've got Agrigento, Malta, Messina, Palermo, and Syracuse. Game 300 prestige. Prince Guy of Sicily and Prince Roger. So Guy will actually inherit quite a bit. So we should probably work then on too many duchies held. Oh, I thought that wouldn't actually do it. 
I know someone was saying that I would, and someone was saying it wouldn't. Only hold two duchies. Okay, so. Duchy of Sicily. Maybe we appoint this to. Julia goes to my son. Calabria is going to Guy, who's my other son. Point to a de jure landowner. So a de jure landowner. Give your brother Calabria. Grant to... Are you saying my brother Roger? Or Roger? Or this brother, Tancred. Because I, I tried this... I'm going to save again. Because I tried this on another campaign, and I, I gave it to him, and it, it, like, it separated it from my holdings. I was like, what the hell did I do wrong? The Duchy of Calabria. Grant to... Okay, so we're saying give it to this guy? Oh, look at that. It changed his icon. Give it to an existing... Okay, so... So if we give him this... He remains my vassal. Okay. So here's a question. Why give him Calabria and not Sicily? Since he has de jure claims to Malta. Oh, is that why? Because he has de jure claims to all of Calabria? That I would give him the, the Duchy of Calabria? I have more substance than the person I own. Okay. We'll do that then. Isn't already isn't already their account though for Rosano? Oh, there's not. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Sorry. Uh, it's dicey, but I think I'm getting it now. Okay, Darth, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's do that then. I'm overwhelmed with stress. Why? Oh, that's stupid. I know why I gained stress, but... Oh, this changes the music, too.
Have a hunt. That's a good idea. Never done that either. Called a hunt. Don't have the money. <laughs> Beast. The stress increase the opinion of their host. Hunt. Okay. I do not know, unfortunately. Probably more uh, towards the end of this month, firefighter. And is so my culture right now is Sicilian. You adopt the Sicilian culture. Every close family member sharing your culture adopts the Sicilian culture. Like, is there a point to really staying as Norman versus Sicilian? Oh, I see. It changes my innovations that I can get access to. I see. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Not handsome just yet. <laughs> Dynasty of many crowns. Dynasty de Haute, uh, Hauteville crowns. And okay, so how do I do that? Realm sessions. Right now, as it is, we hold all of this. Uh, how did I get that much monthly income, Ali Burke? Uh, just kind of fixing up a lot of these lands and expanding them. Leo! The succession tells me that um... Guy is going to get Sicily. I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So Darioth is saying, if you make Palermo your capital, your primary heir should inherit more stuff. And this is because he is already the claimant to all these, but he is the Duke of Apulia or whatever. I have not built anything this campaign, Crisps. So how do I even make this my capital? Oh, move capital here. In fact, I think Trani, which is my capital, it's like I'm like it's a fishing net weaver, that's it. Not much, Leo, how are you doing, dude? So we save this. What happens if we do this? We be new account. Is really kind of active. I don't think there's anything in the county of Apulia that that is tied necessarily to capital. I am also tired, brother. So we save. Did we save? I want to see how this works. Then let me jump over here to Realm. Session. Ah, so he will only take over the Duchy of Apulia, which is here. Interesting. Where was the button? Oh, I'll show you. You click on a city, and it's this button right here. Hmm. It's behind my face. Yeah, let, me let me change that for you. This button right here. Okay, so we are coming towards the end of the stream here. Let me pop open the...
Let me pop open the giveaway button. My money did go down a little bit, yes. I'm down by one. It's probably because there's a building in here that's no longer going to be normal. I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, it, ch it went from like 10.1 to 9.1. But that's kind of spicy. I like that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open up the giveaway. And here's how this works. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you cannot win the giveaway. It will not select you. I have a physical key. If you win the giveaway, you need to join the Discord and message me on Discord. I'm going to give you the key and you're good to go. So I'm going to press an open up giveaway to enter into the giveaway. This is a key for Crusader Kings 3. It's exclamation point CK3 and you'll enter in. So there it is. It's open. And again, if you are not subscribed, it will not choose you. Target into you. Peasant rabble. What's that now? Mental break. Wanton desires. Oh, oh shit. Let's see. It feels like I'm constantly being distracted by lash, lash of lascivious thoughts and erotic fantasies. With all the hardships of my everyday life, it is all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interesting, inf interfering with my life. What, but what should I do about them? I must sequester myself to avoid temptation and the treat reclusive. We're still stressed in five years. You may suffer another mental break. Opinion of you. Perhaps a new view of God will help me convert to, you know, asterism? That's crazy. I will bite my lip and stay focused. Uh oh, can I afford that? I can. We'll save up money and do like a hunt. Unfortunately. Yeah, if you do not have the game, please enter. If you do have the game, please do not enter. Oh, lower crown authority. And we can just handle the Ooh, little shit. And so it fails to handle vassals you spent from 50. You son of a bitch, man. I This Abelard is a penis. I mean, he's a good fighter. He's just not a good... <sighs> I'm really getting sick of Abelard here. Really thinking I should replace his act. All right, Nair. Have a good one, man. Thanks for jumping in. I'm just afraid to remove him. No, nope, there's no uh, only one entry possible. It's it just puts it puts you in a list. That's it. I mean, I could murder him, but all this stuff has got good. Primary heir is a woman, so he won't. Like she won't have like an actual heir to take over for him, I don't think, right? If if it's a if he only has a daughter. Yeah, guys, if you uh, if you don't end up winning the giveaway and you do want to pick up the game, you can use the uh, link in my description for either the royal or the normal edition. My brother died. I just got pushed to two. I just gained 50 stress from that. I'm now at level 2. But what in Discord? Mental break. Estranged authority. Shit. Of late, my courtiers seem to avoid me at all costs. I hear whispers what they think I will stop at nothing to achieve my ambitions. That nothing is scare sacred to me. But that just means that I rule with a firm hand. It doesn't mean that I'm a monster, does it? Oh no, dude. 
Oh, lose money? Well, he died in... I think he died in, in prison. I can't afford all that. Your quarters are forced away. 30 opinion of you. Oof. But it would reduce my stress below this level. I'm not sure, Sebastian. Oh, no. I think I gotta go this. The courtiers won't be stoked about it, but I can't afford to... Okay, so we're down a little bit. The reclusive trait's never good. and He's 63, so I don't imagine he'll be in a good position. No longer overwhelmed by stress. Good. Can I let the air take over? Position grant titles. I can just we're kind of grant the king of Sicily. Mm. Point Regent. That's a button. Ah, oh, Christ. Servants have packed her chest and she has set her wells. With Ludgard calls her claim on the Duchy of Piedmont. That's fine. That's a rebel uprising, yes. Oh, that's okay. She can she can leave. Ooh, my money's going down, though. Look how sad he looks. He's just... He's so old at this point. I just put that right there. Yeah, I don't have a... I don't have that option, actually. buildings I can make. I don't have any money to make any buildings. I don't have any piety to get any money. Prestige? I'm not endorsed by my bishop again? Why does this guy suck so much? You're getting spicy. Scheme at court. Okay. My spadmaster has come to me with a discovery. He is certain that my knight, he, she, oh no! Scheming against my ne my nephew, Constantine. Let the traitor be known to all. He, she disposes an agent in the murder scheme against Constantine. He, she spends 150 and loses opinion of you. It's like my best knight. Old black guard. What does this do? Uh, throw him in jail. You imprison he, she. Too reclusive to come to the bishop's parties. Uh, Mr. Iron Gut, they're, they're pretty much simulated battles. You watch, like, how... The, uh, the fights go back and forth. Um, is supposed to be an agent. So, what's the difference between let the chair be known to all? So, he'll lose opinion of me, but 
I know what a, I know what a blagard is, but Uh, strategy above all, I'm actually not too sure. I, I, I didn't play CK2 very well. Let alone much of any. Count Joffrey noticed it. We could throw him in jail. You can just ignore it since it's your best night. Well, I mean, true. have a good opinion of me. No one has a good opinion of me right now. Um, prison, get hooked with each Oh, okay. We'll imprison him. Oh, it's got to go through. I didn't imprison him. Oops. Aha! Another child, Princess Ida of Sicily. She is nothing. She is zero. <laughs> it was a spicy one. Gossips. Where's she at? Honestly, I want to. I think I got to replace this guy. He's just such a crap ass. <clears throat> I don't want to fire this dude, but I think it's it's worthwhile. Because this guy is just killing me here. And we'll spend... Instead, we'll sway... This dude. Shithead. So, foreign culture... Oh, okay, so that's minus five right there. Personal diplomacy. Bells versus cynical. Uh... Can't even pull that off. Okay, so I think this is a good point right here. I know we didn't do a whole ton. There was a lot of, like, kind of navigating around a lot of menus right now. Um... 
but I'm just trying to kind of get a better idea of what's going on. We did take over Sicily, though. We got Palermo. We moved our capital to Palermo. Um, our money's coming back up a little bit here. And we, now, when we take over the king, or when my son takes over, he will not be the Duke of Apulia anymore, but he will be the king of everything still, and he'll only lose these two, uh, I guess, titles. What is this? Army. So, let us do this giveaway. So again, real quick, if you do want to enter into the giveaway, you're going to type exclamation point CK3, and we will be able to do that giveaway. It is for a copy of Crusader Kings 3, so if you already have it, Please, 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 please do not enter into the giveaway. Um, if you do win the giveaway, you have to go ahead and message me on Discord. Um, you just find me in the upper right corner once you join the uh, the channel. Here is the Discord. Invite people. Copy. And you have to be subscribed. If you're not subscribed, then the you cannot win the, the giveaway. Uh, you can unsubscribe after, that's fine, but the the game will only, I'm sorry, the, um, the, what's it called, will only recognize people that are subscribed. The bot, the bot, the bot. Where were you able to find them? Uh, Nick Stefano. you'll probably have to look in their lands. They might be coming down from their lands. Or they might be engaged in another war, and they're kind of dealing with that one right now. So go ahead and enter in. I'll give you guys another uh, minute or two. We'll use that time to kind of say some thank yous here to people that did some donations because we did get some cool donations here today. Um, stream health for activity. The twenty dollar donation from Big Dick Daddy from Cincinnati. Thank you very much, man. And we got one from Man of the West who is now a new member of the channel. So thank you very much. We will be streaming again tomorrow. A little uh, little Thursday. Is it Thursday tomorrow. Yep, it's Thursday tomorrow. And I don't think we're going to stream on Friday, but we'll come back on Saturday and or Sunday um, and do some streaming. So let's take a look at stream elements. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, it was just those. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let us do this giveaway. We're at three hours right now, so we're going to go ahead and shut the stream down after this. Um, but thank you everyone to help me out who was helping me out today, especially Darius, uh, David Renau, um, Darth, Ikeda, Darth, Chachi, Darth Chachi, there it is. Ah, Corny, you were helping out. Brant Churchill, thank you guys very much for your uh, help here. Let's go ahead and press this giveaway button. Let's see who won. Pick a winner. It is Matt Hewton. Absolutely, Bobby Bronco. Glad you enjoyed it, dude. Matt, you have won the giveaway. If Matt does not respond, though, we will be doing another giveaway instead. Um, well, I'll just press a new... I'll choose a new winner. But, Matt, you have to respond in the chat. Uh, Raphael, no, we have not finished. We're just stopping this episode. Well, we'll be back again tomorrow playing more. Oh, there he is. Matt, just go ahead and message me on spa on, on uh, Discord. So jump into that uh, Discord channel there. You'll see me in the upper right corner under the name, under Primark. And just go ahead and send me a direct message so that I know it's you. Mandalorian second season premieres October 30th. Woo -hoo. That fucking hog wild. Uh, new arrivals. All right, Travis, see you tomorrow, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Freddy is ready for the way. But we have we got a nice little uh thing here. We still have we still have to take out this portion, so we have to take out uh take Naples and Capua. So we'll we'll get those in the next uh portion here. Um we'll hopefully jump into those fast. Unfortunately, some uh has got um the chiefdom or uh, has got Naples, so it'll be a pretty interesting one. Hopefully we can try to take Capua via diplomacy. But we'll see what happens. And I'm just making sure that this is, in fact, Matt Hewton, and we will be able to shut the stream down after that. So, again, guys, I do have another video coming out for your first time kind of jumping into Crusader Kings 3 to help you out in that very initial pause portion of the game, because that's where you're going to set up the majority of your success. Awesome. Okay, thank you, Matt Hewton. That should hopefully be out tomorrow. Um, so thank you all very much for watching here today. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that kind of fun action. I always say all the crap. Um, but I forgot this is a stream and not an actual uh, recording. But uh, we'll be back here tomorrow with some more fun times. I am still going to be covering some Bannerlord stuff and some Total War Warhammer stuff. I've got a uh, uh, Sturgia campaign planned for Bannerlord as well as those unit guides. And I do have a Kislev campaign planned for Total War Warhammer. So if you're looking for that, that will be coming in, in due time. But everyone else, thank you so much for watching here today. Have a good day. Uh, take, take care of yourself. Wash your fucking hands. Stay safe. And we will see you back here tomorrow for the continuation of the Kingdom of Sicily. But all right, guys.